the more followers you have the more people see you as credible i'm here to tell you some stuff that i have never told anyone before welcome back fam it's your girl jess and today we're going to be talking about followers now the only reason i'm talking about this is because i am a professional makeup artist i work with a lot of celebrities models and you know backstage and things so i kind of know a bit of a tea and i also have been exposed to a lot of different things quite insightful man i am so you sexy little muffins let's get to the video i feel like you're stuck on social media you know you have like five eight three a hundred followers you know nine thousand followers nine thousand four hundred and sixty followers just like me <laughs> or you know you're stuck on a number and you're just you feel like it's so hard for you to grow you feel like it's taking forever to hit that 10k mark or if you're above that you're feeling it's so hard to get over that 10k mark you may not be aware of this little thing that people do people do people don't do i don't know who am i to say a lot of people buy followers oh my god i had to say it comment below if you're shocked because I kind of was shocked, but I'm here to tell you some stuff that I have never told anyone before. Before I started the account that I am on now, I'll list that up here if you want to check me out. I had another account. It is now deleted, so you can't see her. But it was, I guess you could say, my personal account. Now, I really wanted to be an influencer and I was doing a lot of research and I'm like, it's so hard to grow, no one likes me, yada, yada, yada. So I bought followers. And I know that some people are like, oh my God, how do you buy followers? Well, you basically just go on the app, like any app. I went on, um, you know, the, what is it called? Oh my God, how am I having a brain freeze? I went on the app, the freaking, Apple Store, duh. App, Apple, App, App, Apple Store. I went on App, Apple Store. I hope that is right. <laughs> and I bought like seven to eight thousand followers. Now, that honestly made me feel very like important. And I'm not even gonna lie, I got quite a few big jobs because of it. And I felt like the biggest fraud because the thing was, I was getting people, yeah, that were following me and. And stuff like that but I was just like am I even like helping these brands that are paying me to you know do things they were paying me to do like some things that I wanted to do before but I'm like I'm not gonna actually do it and waste my money on it and one of those things was teeth whitening not like the at-home ones the ones where you actually um, go to a dentist and you get your teeth whitened and I felt so bad because um, they really wanted to make sales and they thought that I would help them. I hoped I could help them, but I'm like, I don't really know if I can because a lot of my followers are fake. So I deleted that account and I started from scratch. The more followers you have, the more people see you as credible. What? But in a way, I'm not because when I used to message brands, when I had my other account and I only had like 24,000, which still is a lot, but still 24,000. The amount of brands that were happy to work with me was crazy. And to be honest, the main reason I did it was because I really wanted, I really wanted to work with like, you know, neon model management or what was the other one I really, 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 really wanted to work with and they never respond to me. What I noticed was when I started my new account and I was like trying to message brands and work with brands, a lot of brands were like, oh, you know, you're so, you're good, but message us when you have more following or message us when you have this, or message us when you have that. And look, I do understand because you obviously have to have a following to actually influence people to do things and to buy things and stuff like that. But I also feel like there are so many people that don't have a big following that are crazy amazing. And I'm not just talking, no. I'm not talking about myself because I, I do think I'm good. I'm not bad, but I just think there are some people that have a really huge following that do great. They're, they're amazing and they earned that, of course, but are all of them real? Now, I don't want to drop any names because I don't like shading anyone, but 
but but but but but when i have started recently well not that recently but recently enough working with more models working with uh you know i worked with instagram which was fun i assisted on a job on that it was so so crazy so good crazy though and i've done another uh, uh, another i freaking wow other few jobs that i have the privilege of working on with like you know big celebrities or you know behind the scenes to some stuff right i noticed that a lot of the women that are on there don't get as much engagement as me and i don't even get that that much engagement so i'm like hmm something's a bit fishy here so i decided to do some research that did not work out the way i wanted <laughs> i noticed hmm there are a lot of girls that have been on the same following for a few years they haven't gotten anything they get like i said less engagement than me hmm less comments than me hmm it was starting to get a bit fishy so like i said i did some research and I found out that over, I think it was, I'm gonna find the exact number and put it up here because I don't wanna give you wrong statistics. But it was about, I think 70 or 60% of the population have over 100,000 followers and they're all fake. So many of us are trying our best to just get that 10K mark so we can get that swipe up link like my videos on YouTube if you like it give it a big thumbs up <laughs> although I truly feel like it's so crazy because so many like makeup artists hairstylists you know influencers beauty bloggers people that you know just do random reviews or whatever the case is by followers and the reason this is how it caught my attention a girl that I was following had I think it was 6,000 followers at the time. I had seven. So I was like, oh, this is like, um, you know, awesome. We're very similar. We're kind of like at the same mark, whatever. She was so sweet. Out of nowhere, I think it was a week or two later, she had 23,000. And I was like, Jesus. And I even messaged her. I'm like, oh my God, you know, do you have any tips on how you gained your following? I did not think at all she had bought her following. Because I was like, oh, like you you kind of killed it. Like I, I appreciate that and I, I want you to teach me your way. To which I found out her response was kind of just like, oh, I just started working with different brands. And I'm like, but how did you get those brands? This girl isn't even a professional makeup artist. She is a starting makeup artist. You know, I'm not saying her work is bad because her work is her work. I'm just saying I was so baffled at why no at how she got such a big following so i started looking at her followers and so many of them were people that had no no pictures their username was like one two three four five six seven eight ten right they had one follower or you know it was such a generic thing and then i realized oh my god she has bought followers also realized that because this girl that I know was in so many engagement groups, which is now, which Instagram is now picking up on. So many engagement groups just to keep her followers look like it's actually real. So what people do is when they have a lot of fake followers, they go to a lot of engagement groups, even though it's the most annoying thing. I was in one and I literally canceled it because I'm like, I can't do this anymore. It was too much for me. So because you just have to comment and post on people's photos and don't get me wrong it's a great thing but there's a lot of things that i don't even want to comment on and i'm just like i don't really want to comment on someone's photo that i i wouldn't necessarily click on i just thought that was being so fake i'm not about um not supporting people but i'm about supporting people that resonate with something that i like oh when you have a lot of followers a lot more people are going to follow you because you look like you have a lot more followers well if you thought that honey you're wrong let me tell you why instagram now knows when people especially an external source is into your account and they actually frown upon it and when instagram realizes that you have bought followers guess what they do to your account they shadow ban you when you buy your followers instagram doesn't like that it wants authentic people to come to you so what does instagram do do, do does <laughs> instagram 
pretty much doesn't show your account to anyone. So really, you're not going to gain more followers. You're actually going to lose followers. You're going to lose that authenticity that you had with people when you only had 100 followers. That's why so many influencers blow up out of nowhere. And like, I know an influencer that is actually very big now. She bought, I think, 100,000 followers, emailed so many brands. She changed her aesthetic, so it did actually have a hot vibe. But that actually helped her because she was emailing all these brands. She made some very controversial stuff happen. And then she started getting her recognition. But she started off buying followers. Biggest tip I can give you is don't buy followers just to have credibility. Because I know so many amazing big artists that have only like... 2000 followers but they are working left right and center they are getting that money people are hiring them they're getting booked it's honestly not all about your following because if instagram goes what are you going to do and now i am not saying that it's not everything because obviously with your following you do get more opportunities but i feel like when you're more authentic about it people will start noticing let me know in the comments below if you've ever done it and your experience i'm so keen to know because obviously it's a thought I've thought about and I've thought about it recently. It's like, should I buy followers? No, just know that it's not about, oh my God, I want a thousand followers. Why do you want those thousand followers? Are you truly going to help those people? Are you truly inspiring them? What are you trying to influence those thousand people to do? A thing I always like to say is even if you have 200 followers and you've got a hundred people or say you have 200 followers, right? And out of those 200 people, you have 40 people that love respect you that comment on all your stuff if you were to ever buy like sell anything you know that those 40 people will buy something think about it like that those 40 people are always going to buy your product that's word of mouth the more people that you actually connect with rather than the growth of your following is the more people that are going to actually want to you know push for you they're going to be talking about you and word of mouth is everything right so they'll be like oh my god i follow this girl and i bought this thing of her or i follow this person she really inspires me yada 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 so it's all about just i guess like focusing on the people that you have now stop focusing on about everyone else when you focus on the people you have now and the following you have now it, that will a hundred percent grow trust me a little tip if you do want your page to grow this is something that i have found that has helped me a lot other than posting consistently, which I recommend, obviously don't do that if it's not it's if if it's affecting your mental health, I don't recommend that. But I do feel like giveaways do really well and I love to do them just to give back. I'm doing one soon, so make sure you follow my Instagram if you want to be a part of that. Totally fine if you don't. But I love doing giveaways just to show people that I love giving back to you all and I love that the support you give me. I don't always do them because obviously I am busy and I don't want to just be that person that just gives free stuff all the time but i love doing it for a cause i really want to do this one for a cause like you know just doing something back giving back to the environment or something like that i will think about it and i'll get back to you but i just want to say that don't be ashamed or sad that you're not where your friend or someone you know was or whatever because some people yes they have grown their following 100 percent organically but let me tell you 98 percent of people have bought followers even if it's 2,000 followers, they have bought followers. And that just makes them feel more credible and feel like, oh, I can get more jobs. And it's sad because a lot of people do get those jobs. But, 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 a lot of brands now are actually finding out if you do have fake followers. And there's an app that you can actually find out if you've had fake followers because you can also buy likes. You can also buy views. You can also buy comments. You can buy everything literally right and you can even do that on on youtube but youtube also knows when you buy stuff so i don't recommend you doing that i just want you all to know that you're all so amazing you're so beautiful don't be deceived i can't speak english so don't be deceived by what you see on social media because a lot of it can be fake with the following you know that I talk about this all the time that Instagram is usually very fake. No one likes to show their whole life on social media. And even if they show you their whole life, it's the areas they want to show you. And there's a reason why they're showing you that. So without further ado, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to do a part two, because I feel like there's a lot more I could say, but I don't want this video to be too long. But I just wanted to mainly tell you that I know you feel like you're stuck and you're like worried about the numbers and you're stressing because you just want to be big and you want to make it and whatever. And I get that. I get it. I do. 
just remember just no ask yourself why you want to be a big instagram blogger or influencer or whatever ask yourself why ask yourself how you're going to help change the community that you want to be in and what you're going to do to impact those people that follow you do you want to just do that so you get free stuff because that's really not i think a great reason because you can get all that amounts of free stuff and you never feel fulfilled even though you feel like you will i promise you you won't so please do it for the right reasons let me know if you want me to do a part two because i feel like there's a lot of things i can say i just don't want this video to be too long but you are all so beautiful keep slaying my sexy queens make sure to subscribe comment below if you resonate with this if you know anyone that's bought followers you don't have to drop names but tell me what you think i'm very excited to hear your thoughts and i will see you in my next video bye queen